What's up everybody and welcome back to the half ass Garage. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me in the shop today where we're going to take the tractor and drag the D150 outside, pick up the back end with the bucket and power wash the whole undercarriage, kind of get an idea of what's underneath the decades of grime and it'll also be easier when we put uh, the new fuel lines and the tank back in it. So that's the plan. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. It costs you nothing and it helps this channel out a ton. So comments and subscriptions and likes and all that stuff goes a long way with the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate you doing that. I won't get to it. All right, whenever I get it closer to the door, I'll jack it up and pull those little roller wheel dollies off of it. Should make it easier for us. Chain's hooked up. some carpet for the old girl so it should be here in like a week so all the new carpet should go in the seat can go back in it then. so that's good as you can see this one's pretty much wrecked This will be the first time that it's been on its tires in over a year. It'll help to kind of get them round again, roll them around. Well, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go with uh, the tractor bucket. We're just going to have to see. Man, that thing hasn't shut in a long time. It seriously hasn't moved from there. I don't even know. You could probably look back through the videos over a year, something like that. I think it's been a year since I bought the pistons. So those uh, Keith Black pistons, I think it's been a year since I've um bought those like a year last month so let's see how it goes That's pretty sketchy, but it'll be okay. It's hooked underneath the lip pretty good, so it's not really going to go anywhere. I'm not going to crawl underneath of it, obviously. You don't, don't want to be underneath this thing. But I think we're good to go. So I should be able to snake the wand in there and kind of see some crust all in there. So uh, this little tractor is pretty much maxed out. I can't really do a whole lot more uh, picking it up wise. It's it's a light duty tractor, so 
if this thing had uh, the engine and trans in it, I don't even know if it could have picked it up. Who knows? It won't pick up the van. The way that that van sits right there, the, uh, the tractor won't pick up the front or the back of it. So it's a pretty big van, but it gives you an idea of uh, the weight of or the capacity of this little tractor. It just won't do it. So let's uh, get the power washer out and start hosing it down. Now check it out. I've never seen this truck since I owned it without that uh, toolbox on it. Yeah, this is that's the way I bought it. I bought it with that toolbox on it. I've never seen it off. It's pretty sweet. I kind of like it. Now let's check it out. Man, it's been a long time since it's been out of the barn and it's in sunlight. Oh, oh man. Bummer. Dented like usual. All of these bed fronts or whatever seem to be caved in looks like they got it right there it's like some lumber or whatever they were hauling that should be pretty easy to fix you know actually this paint was really nice when i first got the truck when it was when i bought it you know the pictures i saw it looked really nice of course you know the seller was i guess just just hosed it down with clear coat or whatever and uh just to make it look good so I can tell I'm gonna do, have to do a lot of work on this thing no big deal it's just more time consuming oh it's got some dough in it there I can see it cracking I can hear it too hear it the snap snap usually means that it's released in there anyway no big deal eh, it'll be easy to fix uh, let's see what else yeah I'll see if I can get some paint on this thing it's looking a little rusty and crusty this thing was really nice when it came from Alabama, Michigan. Just even sitting around in Michigan's really taking its toll on it. It's, it's nuts. Even that cab corner there is starting to go a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's check out the rust in the bed. Oh, man. Wow. It's, man, it's gotten a lot worse. Jeez. So I guess this is like an insert thing? Yeah. Uh, so it looks like this this center part is one unit. I got a glare from the sun on the on the screen, so I can't see what you can see. But maybe LMC truck or something sells like this section here, and I cut it out and weld in a new one because this looks all right, not too bad, it's just right here. But it's still still pretty you know pretty stiff and rigid. I don't I don't know if I really have to do a whole lot to it. Maybe just pour 15 it or something. This this isn't going to be a show truck. It's just a little muscle truck hot rod thing. I hit that with the cherry picker. I don't know if I told you that. I did find a new piece of trim though. So I do have a new piece to go in there. The door sucks. Uh, I don't know. That's the way it was when I got it. 
I think I'll be able to pull this out pretty easy with the with a unispotter. It's creased right there. They must have run over something. And then uh, this trim, that sucks that it's it's damaged. Oh, you know what? I think that that thing, I think that the car dolly got pulled into it. I think my buddy borrowed my tow dolly one time and ran into it. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, the van, I've kept the van around. So this corrugated, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, this, this patterned, bed what i don't know what this stuff's called ribbed uh the van floor is similar to this so i wanted to take the van the van floor cut the patch out that was my original idea with that whoa got some hornets and man that's a carpenter bee uh, sorry buddy that's plastic anyway so there's the oh man this is way, way bigger. Bummer. Yeah, check that out. That's way, that's way bigger. Yeah, I can see already. Big difference in the size. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. So I'll have to check with LMC Truck or one of the places online, see if anybody is making a replacement panel for that. If not, I'll have to make another one. I could always... You know take that van one and just cut it and all that and that'd be a lot of work but i could still do it that van is some super thick steel though i think that's going to be it for this video for today i'm going to start working on the radiator part of it that would make this video too long so i'm going to save that for the next video cut that up and fit it up so uh just gotta wait for this thing to finish drying it's like 89 degrees today something like that it's perfect weather to do this so that's why i did it today and that's the way it goes. So anyways, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel so the channel can grow. It doesn't cost you anything. So, you know, definitely do that. And if you want to comment, I like chatting with y'all. And if you're on Instagram, I'm on there, half Ass Garage. Chat with me there. Keep up to date uh, more regularly with projects. I post on there just about every day, you know. So, anywho, um, thanks a lot, and I'll catch you on the next one.